So someone sent me a video with uh, our friend Megan talking about, uh, what is it called, gaining weight with a high fruit diet. Now, I'm a friend of Megan, fantastic chef, lovely girl. Where Megan is right now is where I used to be a few years ago. People would send me emails, like, I'm gaining weight on fruit. And I'm like, oh, wow, like, oh, what's going on here, you know? And <laughs> I was like, wow, you can get fat on fruit. I used to believe that. I used to totally believe it. And I remember some good friends of mine were going, man, I'm just gaining all this weight. And I'm like, fuck. Like maybe you need to eat less, I don't know, man, maybe it's the sugar. And then their family or their partner or their children would say, yeah, you know, mum's eating heaps of chocolate bars or dad's, you know, he's still eating KFC occasionally with his mates at the footy or still drinking heaps of beer or, you know, slapping on heaps of olive oil and stuff like that. And the truth soon came out that people weren't doing what they said they were doing, which is fine, you know, like, I know when I used to work in the bike shop, people would come in with a broken bike part and say, I was just riding along and it just failed on me. It was called the JRA. It was just riding along and it failed on me. Like, I remember one time a guy would come in a broken Cannondale mountain bike and this particular frame was just like indestructible, but he snapped it. And I'm just like, we're like, how the fuck did he snap it? Like, oh, I couldn't get over it. He got worried anyway, but then his friend came in a few weeks later and were like, oh, you know, such and such snapped his Cannondale. Like, can't explain it. He goes, yeah, well, he's jumping off shipping crates on that bike. It's a cross country bike and he's jumping off shipping crates. It should be on like a downhill bike. So we're like, ah. There's always something else going on, okay? There's always something else going on. It doesn't make people bad people, okay? So if someone's gaining weight on fruit, first of all, we've got to specify what does the weight gain objective mean? You know, like I've, I've had people, it's like, I'm gaining weight, I'm gaining weight. I'm like, okay, send me a photo. And you, they send me a photo and they're still anorexic, you know? <laughs> or they're like anorexic and they've just got poor posture and they're bloated and they're thinking they're getting fat versus they've got no stomach muscles. They've got like weak transverse abdominis and they've just got no posture. Check out the video I did with Freely recently where we made Freely look fat and then then she did correct posture and two seconds later looked amazing. So posture is a big one. So we've got to specify objectively what does the weight gain mean? Because often it's just someone in their head with anorexia or body dysmorphia who thinks a bloated belly from drinking a litre of water is equivalent to obesity. So we always got to specify what does the weight gain mean? It's just like, it's just like saying, I've got a lot of money in my purse. Well, you know, is it, what, what is it, what is, what is the money in there? Okay, I've got a lot of money in here, but what is it? Now, this is a good one. I've got US bills in here. Now, this is a lot of money, but you can't see what it is, can you? You can see it's a lot of money. That could be maybe 20 bucks, or it could be, because it's $100 bills, you know, and 50s. It's $2,000, but that could look like 20 bucks in the US with the $1 bills, yeah? So you always got to be objective. I'm gaining weight, I'm gaining weight. Well, is it fat? Is it just got, you got bad posture? You know, often people go, no, it's fat, it's fat, it's fat. But then you go there and you see them or you measure them and it's like, dude, you got fucked up posture, you're bloated or you're eating too much salt or you're eating too many tomatoes and getting inflammation or you're still eating at TGI Fridays, you still actually are fat from the fat you're eating that you're not really telling anyone about because you're not proud of. It doesn't make people bad people. I'm just saying, I was like Megan a few years ago, and when someone said to me they're gaining weight, I literally believe, oh, they're getting fat. Or when they said, I'm, I'm doing it 100%, man, just fruits and vegetables, you know, nothing else, you know. And when I slip up, I have just like a little bit of steamed rice, nothing else. But you look at them and you're like, you're fucking, you're almost obese. What's going on? So there's always something else going on. Now, <laughs> you can tell if people are doing the lifestyle, because they look like they're fucking doing the lifestyle. They're as lean as freely. They're as skinny as Megan. They're as, they've got the fucking cheekbone Lance Armstrong face over time. Or they're 300 pounds down to 150 pounds over time. And I've seen it all the time. So there's no exception. There's no exception at all. It's, if you do this lifestyle long enough, you suck right down, man. It's as simple as that. So when people write me emails, I'm like, oh, yeah, really? Oh, you're gaining weight? Well, wow, tell me more. Send me some photos. And it's always 100% something else going on. It's, just, yeah, it's like, I'm eating this smoothie, man. This is 2,000 calories, all right? Like, it's, I do hardly any sport. I do sport, but I, compared to what my friends are doing, man, I'm doing jack all. I'm doing jack all. Okay, so this diet keeps you lean naturally over time. I know fruitarian people out there, guys who look like they could do a 214 marathon, yet they're so unfit they couldn't even do a, a seven minute mile. Why are they so lean and slim? Because this diet long term just sucks you right up. I know girls out there like uh, Megan or Christine or Freely, 
I know, and I know girls out there who do 100 miles a week training just to be as slim as them. And still, these girls who are doing 100 miles a week eating the standard American diet or paleo diet or whatever, they're still, as soon as they get an injury, man, they're going to they're gonna blow out. And I've seen plenty of girls out there, fit, lean girls and guys, ripped, shredded, lean as me, become obese, literally obese. In a matter of years, they get an injury or they get a burnout from cycling or running. They, get, they can't train. And all of a sudden, they're just eating all, all that shit they're eating. It just blows right out. So weight gain on a fruit diet, it is, this should be more objective, fat gain on a fruit diet. Can you get fat on fruit? Can you gain weight? Well, I'm going to gain five pounds after drinking this bad boy, aren't I? I'm going to gain weight on a fruit diet. So yes, you can gain weight on a fruit diet. Can you get fat on a fruit diet? Fat in fucking possible. Anyone who's fat on a fruit diet long term isn't doing it. And it doesn't make them bad people. I'm just saying that I've got plenty of friends out there going, I'm doing it full on, I'm doing it full on. And then you find out we're eating chocolate bars or eating KFC still, whatever. So what happens over time? 100%, 1,000%, 100,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1 trillion percent, 1 billion, trillion, million, trillion percent of the time, no exception, over time, you will shh. You'll be the leanest you've ever been in your life. You'll suck it right down, all right? That's just how it is, man. There's no exception. So if someone's been doing this lifestyle a long time and they don't look like it, they're not doing it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. If you can run a 2.30 marathon, you look like you can run a 2.30 marathon. If you've been doing the fruitarian, 811, whatever lifestyle a long term, you look like that. You're sucked in, you're lean, you're slim. Doesn't matter what your fitness level is. Over time, you're going to... If you're 500 pounds, eventually you're going to get to 150 pounds. Someone might see you at 300 pounds and go, well, he's not doing it. But you, does that make sense? You, you have to look at where someone started at. They're going to go down. They're going to, for men, 150 pounds, six foot tall is what you're going to be at long term in this lifestyle. If you need heavy weights, maybe 170 pounds. If you need no sport at all, maybe 110 pounds. But you're going to get slim, man. If you're a chick, you got to be skinny ass. You're going to look like a fucking runway model on this lifestyle long term. Maybe not that anorexic, but you're going to be slim. You're going to be a model leanness. 100%. No exception. Look at all the long term girls in this lifestyle. You know, even the girls who have lost 150 pounds, eventually they're going to stick, they're going to go down and down and down to 100 pounds, 110 pounds, 120 pounds. They're going to get there eventually. You might see them go, oh, this person is a little bit big. Yeah, they've fucking lost 150 pounds. They're not going to look like magic overnight, but it's over time it's going to get there. This is like if I go to Kenya today and train with the best coaches in the world, then it's going to take me still four years to get really up there. It's not going to happen like overnight or in a week or a month or a year. It depends where someone's starting from. So we've got to be objective, all right? And then you've got people with anorexia, eating disorders. When they write to you, they go, oh, I'm gaining weight. So you've got, you know, like you just, your body dysmorphia is just, you're lying to people or you just, you've got some illness going on, you need help, and, but you're not really showing, telling people the truth. And so people go, oh, blah, blah. so I, not to make fun of anyone, but you really got to be objective. When someone says something to you and it's blatantly fucking a lie and you can tell, then you got to call them out. you got to say, well, you're not doing it, man. You're not doing it. So if you can eat 2,000 calories a day, that's fine. Do that. Me, 2,000 calories a day? I won't have any sex drive. I won't do no YouTube videos. I'll do a YouTube video once a week, once a month maybe. I wouldn't be able to do shit. I wouldn't be able to win nothing. I wouldn't be able to be who I want to be on 2,000 calories a day. <laughs> like, some people tell me I should be eating 1,000 calories a day. You know? But the people who are always saying that are the people who never have any real fitness. And it doesn't make people bad, people that don't have fitness, but a lot of the people out there get caught up in natural hygiene. You know, oh, you shouldn't eat too much, shouldn't drink water, you're thirsty. They've never got any real fitness. They're slim maybe, but they never, haven't got any real fitness, no vitality. They're never living as good as they could because you're just like, I'm eating. There's not much food today, and I'm, I'm not thirsty. Yes, so I'm not going to drink. And that's what happens, man. When you dehydrate under carb, you can't be zip. You don't have that punch. All right. So, bottom line, fat on fruit, impossible. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going crazy this morning. I've put out a ten thousand dollar reward for the last few years. If you can show me the fat person on a fruit, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. Anybody, you choose my witness. $10,000 US via PayPal. Show me the fat fruit here in. So show me where are the fat fruit eaters long term. Impossible, man.
just like there's no fat 230 marathoners. So people are lying, they're being dishonest, they're being subjective with their measurements, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't make them bad people, but it can be confusing for the noobs. So I used to be just like Megan and believe everyone, everything people told me. But over time, talking with thousands and thousands and thousands of people, you start to learn what's really going on. All right? Again, it doesn't make them bad people, but it can be very confusing for the noobs. So that's my take on it. Carb the fuck up. Eat as many calories as you want. If it's 800 calories a day and you can just meditate all day long and do fucking nothing with your life, then do that. <laughs> and have just be not just, not just laying in bed, wasting air. Do that if you can do that. I can't do that. I want to change the world. I want to be out there. For me, 3,500 calories minimum. So find what you need to perform at your best mentally and physically. That's, and that's what you need. For me, three and a half thousand. It might be you might not have big goals. You might just want to just you know chill out and you know two thousand calories a day. You know just like not too much passion, just cruising around. Don't want to have much fitness level. Whatever. So we promote three thousand calories a day. Eat as much as you want though. If you want to eat ten thousand calories a day, do that. If you can get away with two thousand calories a day, maybe you can do that too. Maybe if you're hundred, maybe if you're eighty pounds and you just live on like a meditation retreat, you don't talk, you don't deal with anybody, you don't have any stress in your life, you don't have any children, you don't have any aspirations, and you can get away with 2,000 calories a day, do that. Whatever you can eat, do it. Eat as much as you want. The bottom line, eat unlimited carbohydrate, fructose, sugary calories from fruit. Unlimited. Unlimited. All right? If it's 800, fucking 8,000, whatever. Eat as much as you want. Don't limit your calories. Eat as much as you want. All right? That's, just, that's the bottom line. Take a message. Eat as much as you want. Eat as much as you want. Eat till you vomit, and then eat what you vomit. <laughs> eat as much as you want. Because all of long-term fruit eaters, no exception, are all slim. Are all slim. A few people out there might be like, oh, I've got to have like styrations under my eyeballs. You know, and they're like, I've got to eat cucumbers to dinner. Whatever. That's just, you know, that's another story. Eat as much as you want. You'll be slim, trim, healthy, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Carb the fuck up. Post your comments and questions down below. See you soon.